Hey guys, so sitting back in Luke's Vintage Arts and Restoration. As you can tell, I got some projects here for this Halloween. So a happy Halloween to everybody out there. Hope it's great. So we wanted to do something scary, kind of monstery looking, and um, I thought about the Midnight Pumpkin. So we did a lunchbox uh, turned mystery machine one year, so that was a lot of fun. So I wanted to do something kind of cool, cool like that this year. So let's go ahead and start talking about what we did. So. I'm a huge fan of anything Tamiya related, especially the QD line as well. So the QD was just a small, um, smaller scale Tamiya uh, items. They call them the 114 scale RC cars, uh, quick drive. And they made this one right here. Very cool truck, love these. These are very expensive and are highly collectible. Um, and I didn't want to mess with this one too much because I don't have the remote and I want to kind of keep it more of a static display. I'm opposed to static, I know, but these, they're, they're not fast really to run. They just kind of look cool. So anyways, I did make a copy of one. I'll show you. Okay. So this is actually a Radio Shack truck that looks similar to this one, pretty much identical body wise. And chassis too. The tires are different, obviously. But uh, we had to paint this one black and get some uh, decals on here. I had to repop those and reprint them. And uh, it uses a smaller gearbox and stuff like that. We'll go over the differences in a future video of these. But uh, yeah, just painted the wheels yellow, painted the roll bar yellow, kind of matched this one a little bit. And uh, it looks really cool now. Um, this one does have the remote, which is nice. And these can have to be for like 40 bucks or so. Not very expensive for these. And they look really good. Mainly to another thing about the bodies is this one has the logo. This one does not. I have to print this on piece on, on sticky paper. So um, a lot of fun these were. Very neat. Actually it runs okay. It's slow, but it runs good. Two speed. Let's talk about this guy. This is the one. All right, so this was a uh, XSA uh, Midnight Pumpkin uh, that I got off Tower Hobbies. It was like one fifty four ninety nine, dollars I think, or something like that. But I wanted to do a vintage one, uh, but the vintage ones are too expensive. So this was actually cheaper to go this route with it. Plus, because I had to add extra parts and things like that that I wanted to. So I wanted to make it a little bit longer. So it's got the extended chassis, camber adjust for the front. It's got lights now, green lights right there. So with all the accessories and stuff, I wanted to keep it around 200 or so. It's got the decals for the tires. Um, I wish they would make be a Goodrich, but I, I, I couldn't find those. But um, I'll give a list of everybody that um, I got the parts to make this truck look like this as well. Um, this one uses a small little battery pack, LiPo, right there to, to power the uh, lights separate. Very small, a little 3.7. And uh, I think I paid like $9 for it. So it's a LiPo pack. Lights stay on for hours and hours so with that little small pack in there. So you don't have to run it into the, uh, your reserve of the uh, your uh, receiver. You can put it in your own little pack. And I, I did all this stuff in the video. You'll see how I made everything. It's got the vintage heat sink in here just to give it that vintage vibe. Um, also, I painted the window on the bottom. Typically those aren't painted, it's clear. It's got the tailgate with the Ford Emboss logo now, vintage. And we did the decals for the lights here, the CVs. Typically it says bright on there with, for Tamiya now. So a lot of cool little features. I might be missing something, but you'll see everything in the video too. So just a, just a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go straight into what it took to make uh, these little guys come to life. And then uh, we'll hit the running portion of the video. I'm also gonna start right now. Alrighty guys, as you can tell, we got all the pumpkins out. Well, this one's not really a pumpkin so much, but we're gonna turn this Rio Shack uh, street comer into a pumpkin. There's a lot of these types of little trucks from Radio Shack and uh, similar brands that are pretty much copies of Tamiya's QD, uh, 114th scale one that I got right there. I've had that thing for quite some time. It needs a little bit of work itself. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to have time in this video, in, in this specific video to do that one. But we're definitely going to be doing this one up. So we got to take all the decals off, wash it really good, and then uh, put the paint job on it. And uh, then slap these uh, decals I made offline. So I found a picture of these, the sticker, 
And then I just kept on uh, printing it out till I got about what I need to size wise. It was not easy um, to get get those made up. So throw on some sticky glossy paper with a few layers of clear. And then we need to take this guy out. So this thing shipped to my door from Tower Hobbies, 154 bucks and 99 cents, I believe. So crazy cheap with tax and everything. I wanted to build one for you guys, but there was just none that I could afford at this time. Believe it or not, all the vintage ones that I could find are over $200. And then you still got to pay for taxes and stuff like that. So I'm not going to do that because uh, I got a lot of money in other parts that's going to be going on to that. I'm going to show you in just a second. So I wanted to hop this one up a little bit too and give it a little bit of pizzazz. So we're going to go 1987 Trinity Monster motor um, to kind of go with the Halloween theme. Also, we're going to go rcrenew.com upgrades. So I have the extended wheel uh, package. So this is extended it's the wheelbase a little bit extra. Gives a little more stability. We also have the uh, front camber um, set up here that helps with the camber whenever there's a load. That's pretty cool. Can't wait to get that done. I have another one here that I don't think I'm going to use. And this just kind of controls the rear. A little more stability. But uh, with these, uh, with these, I don't think I need that. So, but we can use this for the uh, lunchbox later on. We have the uh, Goodyear and the Firestone logos that'll go on the tire with some um, little license plates things. I don't think we're going to use that. And then we got the green lights that are going to go in the headlights for that truck. Also, last but not least, we need to paint this tailgate black and get it mounted on there because this is the one with the uh, Ford embossed logo. That one just has a sticker that goes on it. So easy peasy. Let's get started. All right, guys. So we're going to do right now, we're going to start getting ready for the paint job on this truck. In order to do that first, we're going to have to um, remove the body from the chassis and take off all the accessories and then uh, start taking off the decals. Once we do that, then we can go ahead and get ready for uh, prep and then uh, sand and then we'll primer it and then paint it. All right, so now that the QD114 uh, scale Midnight Pumpkin clone is finished, we got the other one. All right, let's go ahead and open up this uh, Midnight Pumpkin uh, XSA. All right, so now we got the, uh, we pulled the Midnight Pumpkin out of the box. This is the packet that came with it. So pretty much everything right there. Um, yeah, so it's just held in place with a tie strap right there. Well, a couple of them, I guess. So we'll just pop those tie straps off and pull it out and start doing the upgrades. Alrighty, so as you can tell, the uh, truck is out of the box. Got a few things we got to do. On, uh, tear off the zip ties there. And then um, remove the decals here. We don't want those stickers got to come off so vintage ones can go on. Uh, we need to put the green lights in. Uh, ball bearings has got to go in the car. There's bushings only. And we need to find a vintage um, heat sink that goes in the truck bed there. Tailgate's got to come off so that vintage one can go on. That's got the um, Ford embossed logo. This is nothing but a sticker. So that comes off. And then we need to put the motor in that we got right here. 87 Monster horsepower motor. We'll go right there. Kind of makes sense. Halloween Monster. And I'm trying to think what else we got to do. Oh. The, the window's gotta come out so I can paint that bottom portion where it's clear. So that's gonna be painted black. So still a lot of stuff, lot of stuff to do on this car. Ever more closer to getting this whole uh, project done. Uh, here's the RC Renew parts that's gonna give the, uh, chat, it'll give the truck a little bit longer look and uh, more stable. And then we gotta put on the uh, parts that changes this here a little bit. So, from RC Renew. 
It's a lot of stuff to do. We've got to put the stickers on the tires that we got. So let's go ahead and knock this thing out. Alrighty guys, as you can tell, everything is done on the truck now. Looking really sharp. Wheel base is a little longer. Monster horsepower motors in. Uh, Ford logos on, or Ford tailgate logo. Heat sink, painted uh, back window. Lights, stickers, stickers. So it just looks really good. And now we're ready to go into the running portion. All right, let's get a uh, top speed run on the uh, clone for the uh, QD 114 scale Midnight Pumpkin. We're at zero. Let's see how she goes, guys. See what we got seven miles an hour <laughs> all right let's go get a top speed run on our other one all right let's go ahead and get a top speed run right now we're just running a little 7.4 volt uh, lipo in here a little small pack a little 2000 so that's pretty much it and we're based off of zero and this yeah this does have the monster horsepower motor but i did drive it earlier and it's not very potent so probably a tired engine uh, so it definitely needs um, some new brushes and things like that we'll definitely upgrade it uh, with some new stuff but uh, just to have a, a vintage motor in a clone vintage is, is awesome anyway so let's go ahead and run it get the top speed we're at zero let's see what she's got zooms off quickly Bring them back in. I'm surprised how straight it's running. Let's see, we got 14 guys. Eh, not horrible. Definitely room for improvement on this one. So we'll definitely have to do an upgrade on, on the speed of this. All right, let's go ahead and run it normally. Power's ready. It's got a 7.4 in it. Let's hit it. So this was a lot of fun. Um, so glad to get this thing done, and uh, also the little, the smaller one as well. Beautiful trucks. Um, these are just a lot of fun. No matter what, they're classic. They don't cost a lot of money, and all the little upgrades and stuff you could do to them is really fun too. Um, I would have liked for this one to be a little more potent on top speed, but we'll have to work on that in the future. But yeah, runs really good. Definitely pops wheelies good. These are little wheelie machines. So, beautiful trucks. Uh, the wheel lettering looks really sharp too. I definitely recommend getting those for your car. Probably not gonna be the you know, longest lasting decals for your tires, that's for sure. But, uh, Very cool, love it.
Got a little wheel action there, a little one, a three wheel action. That's awesome. All right, let's do a little jump. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go run uh, run the QD one. Whatever his big brother can do, he can do too, then. That's funny. All right, let's go ahead and bring him in. <laughs> what a trip. Go through the mud, go. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, that's a wrap on these bad boys. I want to appreciate you guys for watching my videos. It's been a, a lot of fun to do these two guys. Uh, one over there, what a blast. And obviously the big daddy here. So what a great Halloween uh, mashup here. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun too. So if you guys please, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I promise you, you're not gonna wanna miss what's coming up next guys. It's gonna be a blast. Bye.